Hello and welcome to the in new series of Drishti IAS. I am Pooja Tivedi and in this segment today we are going to discuss and analyze the concept of smart cities and we will also talk about the various components with respect to smart cities. Now what is a smart city? The facts, everything with factual information is important from the perspective of prelims and the analytical part, specifically the challenges, the way forward, the suggestions will be important from the perspective of the GS mains paper third and GS mains paper second part. So, why are we discussing it? Now, the Ministry of Housing and Urban Development has said that 80 integrated command and control center, the ICCCs, have already been established in different cities, but there are 20 left which will be developed or established by August 15th this year. Integrated Command and Control Center, special emphasis will be given on this. Integrated Command and Control Center are the nerve of the smart cities. Whatever the important components are regulated and monitored are done with the help of Integrated Command and Control Center. That is why that is going to be the crux of our entire discussion. So, let us move on and talk about the concept of smart cities. This is a buzzword. My city is a smart city is a buzzword. And this buzzword, it actually enhances our information about what is done to make a city smart. Whenever we hear this word, we visualize certain things such as robust ICT, that is information and communication technology, which is actually the premise of the entire concept of smart city because in order for a city to become smart, we should have a real time information flow among different authorities that are working in the cities to make the operation effective and also enhance efficiency, the simplest of the terms. Now, operational efficiency is one thing that my city is connected in such a manner through ICT that wherever there is a need of um, very smooth operation, that could be done through knowledge which is provided at real time and that should be correct. Also, share information with the public. Then only the public will be well informed about any de decision that has been made in the city and contribute. So, this is minimum government, maximum governance. This concept is there. Provide a better quality of government, service and citizen welfare. So, smart city first. It is based on the premise of ICT so that seamless information can be exchanged so that operational efficiency can be enhanced. Public participation is also there and there should be sustainable welfare measures. What is sustainability? Sustainability is basically having the demands of the current people met without compromising the need of the future generation. This is sustainability. Let's move on and know what are the different components of smart cities. First, uh, we will talk about the history. Now, the history of smart city goes back to 2008 when the world was going through the world's worst economic recession back in 2008. So, then IBM in 2008 began work on smarter cities concept as a part of its smarter planet initiative. Okay, And if we talk about the concept of smart cities, why do we need even smart cities? Because by the year 2050, by the year 2050, 70 percent of the population will be living in the cities. India will not be untouched. India is becoming highly urbanized. We need to dampen whatever the pressure that has been created in the urban cities due to urbanization at such a pace that it does not create unnecessary burden on the resources of the city. That is why we need smart cities. Since then, South Korea, Singapore, Japan, every country is actually uh, having the concept of smart city in place and India is having it since the year 2015. But have you ever wondered what are the components of a smart city? First of all, an infrastructure based around technology. Infrastructure not only physical but also digital. Environmental initiative so that we do not over exploit because if we do this, it might create uh, a lot of climate change greenhouse gas emissions because if we do not uh, prepare our mobility to be well versed with the ill effects with climate change it will lead to greenhouse gas emission 
and similarly is for other electronic appliances such as acs and other cooling measures so we need to make our environment sustain uh, our uh, technology environmentally sustainable uh, urban heat island effect is related to unregulated and unmonitored um, urbanization can you tell me in the comment segment what is it effective and highly functional public transport because uh, if we talk about the funding out of 2 lakh crore rupees mostly is going into mobility mostly will be dedicated towards mobility which is electric in, in nature confident and progressive city plans and people able to live and work within city using their resources so self sustainable smart city is one of the components of our smart city mission okay and it was introduced in the year 2015 on 25th of june and the main initiative was confident about building 100 cities which were shortlisted into self sustainable urban groups and it had area based development plan first component was area based development plan which included retrofitting that means city improvement city renewal or redevelopment and city extension that means greenfield development next was pan city initiative with in which smart solutions are applied covering large parts of the city so these are the main components of smart cities mission moving on what are the other important areas of focus to have construction of walkways pedestrian crossing to encourage health cycling tracks efficient waste management also so that the environment is healthy in nature healthy environment healthy people and integrated traffic management and assessment and that is all done by icccs and other indices in order to create an environment of healthy competition the ease of living index municipal performance index city gdp climate smart cities assessment framework everything was uh, everything is comprised by the smart cities mission now as i told you that icccs or integrated uh, command and control center are the nerve of the entire smart city plan because these are what these are small rooms small rooms in the sense not like a room of people but room of ict connected computers which are able to regulate and monitor the entire city the entire city is regularized by an authority and they have this connection of ict in the icccs which provide controlling and monitoring waste and power supply they could also go for sanitation traffic movement as well and also integrated building management everything is done through icccs and city connectivity internet infrastructure these centers have evolved to monitor various other parameters also now it would be very interesting to know that icccs are also now linked to crime and criminal tracking networks system this is under the ministry of home affairs now cctns is a part of the digital initiative to enhance the operation of police or the policing system national uh, in the entire national digital mission and a nerve center for operation management that is why it has been called it is increasing its parameters moving on if we talk about uh, the point of nodality with respect to the covid crisis it also helped in covid crisis during the first outbreak it helped in monitoring which people are under quarantine whatever information was provided with respect to any covid patient being near us was done by icccs so this was the level of expertise that icccs achieved of course if we talk about a prelims alert answer it correctly okay consider the following statements with respect to smart cities mission it was launched in the year 2014 and it initially aimed to be completed by 2019 2020 answer this correctly i will take the names of those who have answered it correctly the challenges remain a lot because as i am saying that ict is going to be the major thing here major premise so what about data security we do not have any data security act so the private information of the people will be uh, available to any sort of exploitation political roadblocks are there any uh, government which changes its course during the uh, uh, whenever the elections happen it might get demolished whatever plans were there in the past might get demolished by the current government which is a political roadblock and private sector engagement is very less right now we need to emphasize on this also 
smart cities is not only just physical infrastructure which is over emphasized upon and there is rigidity with respect to uh, rigidity with respect to certain um, ict structures only when we are talking about making a city smart we need it to be flexible to make it open to any sort of changes so rigidity is also one of those moving on if we talk about how to overcome that ICT infrastructure as well as physical infrastructure should be integrated so that holistic development can take place and data protection act should be there so that people can rest well as we have heard that right to privacy is under article 21 so that should be respected public private partnership very important in order to build a long lasting structure and we have to be flexible gradually we have to enhance our parameters with respect to what constitutes a smart city and also be ready to flexible be flexible with it sustainability not only with respect to environment but social also should be there there should be equitable distribution of the benefits of smart cities not only to the rich or the middle class but also to the poorer sections of the society let's move on and talk about our means based question so what do you understand by a smart city what are the issues that the smart cities face right into 50 words so that's it for today tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment until then stay updated and thank you so much for watching